Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the warp tool. So it's in the transform menu. So I'm going to select this model. I will uh, go to the top view here and I'm going to move this uh, plane slightly above them. So I've selected the plane here. I just press tab and I've got all the components here. I'm going to select all of them. Okay. So once I've selected them, I can go to the mesh transform and then choose warp tool. And this tool works uh, keeping certain points in mind. One is the 3D cursor. And the next thing is uh, the view, okay, in which view you have placed this model. So that's the reason I've switched to the top view here. And it is purely view dependent tool. So I'm going to select this uh, tool called warp. And then you should be able to see that plane has become into a, a circle. And uh, you could see there is a warp angle, which I can generally use to control them, okay. You have the offset which you can use the offset tool for warping also okay and uh, this value is basically to control the minimum maximum value but when it touches the maximum it uh, behaves this way and uh, this is minimum side which is again used to control the minimum axis of this sorry maximum of axis of this it's like you're sweeping uh, into a complete circle okay so minus four and plus four was the values working for it and the 360 degrees is making it a full circle However, I just go back and then I press uh, shift right click and then click here to place the cursor there. Okay. And then I'm going to apply the transform uh, warp tool and then you should be able to see the warp happen to that uh, cursor. Okay. Again, you've got different min max values to make it complete, complete circle there. Okay. And then if I put it too close there, again, you, you can have a look on the result. Okay. The, the center circle is too small. If I put it far, then you could able to see uh, you got a bigger circle. So the circle is very important here and the view is very important. Let me uh, just put this way and try the warp and you should be able to see the warp is completely um, to the parallel of the camera plane. Okay. So this is really important and then you could start playing with uh, certain values here and then make sure that it, it suits your requirement. Okay. 